David Dickinson, he's got a few around like him. The David Dickinson of Dagenham came to Cornwall on his holiday and he couldn't resist just looking around a few places. And he happened to be going past the shop, which wasn't particularly what he was looking for. And outside of it, he noticed a mangy old cat drinking from a blue and white saucer. And he looked at the saucer and he thought, oh, that saucer, that's going to be worth a mint, that is. He said, I know exactly what that is without touching it. He said, that's a beauty, that's going to be worth thousands. He said, no one here will know that, obviously. I'm in the back street in Penzance. So he went into the shop and he said, uh, I know you're buying and selling all sorts. He said, I'd, I'd quite like to buy your cat. He said, if I give you 10 pounds, could I have it? And the bloke said, no. He said, no, 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 no. He said, I don't let my cat go for a tenner, no. He said, well, what if I offered you 20 pounds for it? He said, I'm having a bit of trouble with mice at home. He said, and I'd really like to, he said, I'd really like to have a cat like that. Oh, well, all right then, for 20 quid, you can have it, he said. And then he, the chap said, as a, like, almost as a, an afterthought, he said, like, I wonder, to save me buying a dish, could I have the saucer that the cat's there drinking out of? He said, that would be lovely, it would save me buying a dish for it. The chap, well, no, he said, I can't let you have that. He said, that's my lucky cat dish. He said, since I've had that dish, I've sold 41 cats. <laughs> Please welcome back the lads from Cambiata. I know the trouble I had with what last time, with a bit of laughing. I had that. I often get it. You can ask any of the other guys in the quartet, and once you start, it's very hard to stop. The amount of times we started songs several times, and then they glare at me, and now I think we'd better try another song first. And it's usually nothing that you're laughing at. Here we are, Cambiata, with James Oak. Let's go. 
some thank yous tonight. Obviously, we got to thank the uh, well, firstly a very big thank you to Cambiata and James for coming along during all the, it's half term for all of them. So they've had to remember all week for one thing, and they've given up their time on a half term Sunday night. So thank you very much for coming along and seeing some lovely Cambiata. We're going to sing a couple more songs with the choir, then Cambiata are going to join with us for the last two items. So we're looking forward to that and it's been lovely. And thank you also to the ladies who've got the stall up there. I'm sure there may be still some stuff up there. If you haven't got a cake yet or a book or a CD, you have something before you go. It's going to make your night worthwhile. I aren't biased, but you know, I just thought I'd run, run it in. And a special big thank you to Annette Turton, the choir accompanist. And to all the men of the choir for doing such a lovely job. Thank you, gentlemen. And we thank Michael Pasco, who comes along in ways that you don't, may not know. He saves us a lot. And he does a lot to kick off our his Reverend Michael Pasco as well. Thank you very much, Michael. Um, chap was in the butchers. And uh, he was bit puzzled to see a dog in the butchers, he thought that was unusual, health and safety and public hygiene and that sort of thing, and the dog seemed to have a purse tied to his neck, and the dog was just sat there behind a lady in the queue, and when the lady had been served, the dog was next, and the dog put his paw up on the, on the glass cabinet, and the chap said, you after, he said, you're after the sausages. He said, yeah, he said, well, how much do you want? He said, ruff, ruff. He said two pounds of sausages, he said, okay, he took it away, wrapped it up, he said, anything else for you this morning? And he would tap on the glass again by the pork chops. He said, pork chops, how many of them do you want? He barked four times. Butcher took away four pork chops, wrapped them up. The dog went round behind the counter. Butcher took out some money from the purse and tied one bag on each side of the dog with the meat and the dog trotted off. And this child had been there watching this. He thought, I'll come back for the meat in a minute. I've got to see where this dog goes. He said, this is amazing. I've never seen anything like it. He followed him up the road, round the corner. The dog sat on the pavement, watched the traffic, waited for a gap, he crossed the road. Went along the next road and up, up a side street. Come up to a big door and he started scratching on the door. And the bloke was watching him and the chap opened the door and the dog walked in. He said to the chap, he said, excuse me, he said, I've got to say, he said, I've never seen anything like that. He said, that dog's marvellous, isn't he? He said, marvellous? He said, that's the third time he's forgot his key this week. We've got a couple of Cornish pieces now from the choir, uh, from Cornish Cliffs, which you'll be thrilled to know is the title track from their latest CD. I just thought I'll mention that again. And then Hail to the Homeland, one of the great Cornish anthems.
sing again indoors in um, three weeks time we're singing at Paul Church for our midsummer concert and we've got a young lady coming down from Cambridge to sing with us she's been down for several years with the Gilbert and Sullivan singers who stay at Paul in September and prepare and do a show at the Minac and uh, I asked her last year would she come and sing with us and she's coming so looking forward very much to hearing Helen Oxenham who's taken quite a few of the leading roles with the Gilbert and Sullivan singers from Cambridge University should be a lovely evening so we'll see you then hopefully but before that, we've got two songs with Mosel Choir with Campy Asha. So, welcome back, the boys. I should just say before we sing the last song that we do we practice up at Paul Church at this time of year. If anyone wants to come up any time, is always we have an open door policy. Unless Annette's dog's there and then it barks, but it's nothing to worry about because it's only a King Charles Spaniel. But uh, anyone's welcome at any time. So if you're visitors and you want to come in, then come and make yourselves at home and listen to a practice. And if you've got visitors down, you can bring them along. Or if anyone wants to come along and join in join the choir, then there's no problem to come along and see us any Monday night. But thank you for being such a good audience tonight and for coming along and thank you for what you've given to the choir.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much indeed. Good night, and thank you once again, Cambiata. Thank you.